Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Recently, I made this mini 3D printer, and some people were asking that how I made this printer. So I don't have this printer now, but I'm going to explain you that how I made this printer, and I will also show you the list of the components, and I will also show you the CAD model of this printer. So first of all, let me show you the list of the component. So here is the list of the components, and I have also mentioned the shop name or website name. So the first component is RepRep 1.4 LCD, the LCD of the printer that you are going to use as an interface. And the second thing is 12 volt power supply, and you can choose any ampere, 10, 15, 20 ampere. Uh, you can purchase it from Electrobes, or you can purchase it from any other website like the house. And third component is 1.4 RAM board. Uh, you are going to use it on Arduino Mega. And the fourth component is four NEMA 17 motors. Uh, for X axis, Y axis, one Z axis, and the fourth one is for extruder. Fifth one is extruder kit, extruder kit to extrude the material into the nozzle. The sixth component is 170 by 170 mm bed glass. This bed glass will be used as a surface to print. It is cheap to purchase, so that's why I use this glass. You can purchase it from any glass shop and the uh, thickness of this glass is 3 mm and the seventh component is end stops you can use three end stops for x axis y axis and z axis or you can use bl touch sensor for the z axis eighth component is arduino mega which is controller where you will upload the firmware you can purchase it from the ross digital electrode or any other website after that you will use four corner fitting brackets for the frame and these corner fitting brackets are for 2020 series. So the next component is two motor pulleys for the NEMA 17 motors with two thonet and two idler pulleys. And the next component is bed clips and springs to hold the bed glass and the spring for the movement of bed up and down. So next component is 12 volt V6 hot end. As we are going to use 12 volt power supply, so we will use all electronic components of 12 volt. So you can purchase it from electro electrobes or any draws or digilog shop. So 12 volt V6 hot end. The next component is M5 tighteners. M5 tighteners are used at the end of POM wheels. So they hold the wheel and they don't lose the grip. The next component is 12 volt 5015 blower cooling fan. This is also called part cooling fan. So you will use it to cool down the components during the print. The next is 12 volt 4010 cooling fan. It is 40 by 40 and 10 mm its thickness. So it will be used in the controller box to cool down the components. The next component is eccentric spacers and aluminum spacers. Eccentric spacers, we will use 5 eccentric spacers to tight or loose the grip of tires on the aluminum profile and the aluminum spacers are just to give the space uh, as much as you are using eccentric spacer. You can use 8.38 or 6 mm whichever is available. And the next one is POM wheels or you can say V wheels for 2020 series. You will use 11 V wheels. The next component is aluminum profile which you are going to use for your frame 2020 and I will show you the length of this aluminum profile in CAD model and you can purchase you can list down that length and purchase it from electrodes or any online website. The next component is PTFE tube from which the filament will pass also 2.5 meter GT2 timing belt timing belt will be used in X and Y axis to rotate the or to move the head of printer the next is 90 degree L plate 190 degree L plate to join the aluminium profile on the frame and the next is motor drivers you can purchase any motor driver I have written A4988 it is cheap and budget friendly that's why I mentioned this motor driver after that project wires for the wiring of printer and inches screws you will require one sutter inches screws and the length of the screws you can purchase 0.5 inch and 0.75 inch 
1 inch and 1.25 inch and the 2 inch screw for the cooling fan 1 2 inch screw for the cooling fan after that m5 nuts and screws m5 into 30 mm m5 into 8 mm and m3 into 8 mm m3 into 10 mm and 15 mm also you will require drop nuts or you can say t nuts m5 and m3 8 mm lead screw rod with brass nut the length of the lead screw will be 300 mm which you will use in z axis with the nema 17 motor and you will require coupling 5 to 8 mm coupler to hold the screw rod on nema 17 after that xyz axis gantries and motor mounts etc this is our 3d printed so i have designed this printer so these are the gantries that are not available in the market also the 3d prints so 3d prints will also be available you can contact us on whatsapp the number will be provided in the description or you can type in comment section after that 170 mm acrylic sheet acrylic sheet is for the bed because 170 mm heat bed is not available here so you will require acrylic sheet so this printer will be without heat bed or uh, if you want to make the printer with heat bed that will be around 214 mm bed size that is available in the market here so this was the list of components so the next thing is the wiring of this printer on ram board this is a RAM board you are going to use. This is called 1.4 RAM board and this is compatible with 12 volt supply. You will connect the power supply here plus minus sign mentioned on the board. And the next thing you are going to connect the hot end. These three connections are for hot end, cooling fan and the heat bed. So you are, uh, we are not using heat bed here. So we will leave this connection. The first connection is for hot end. The second connection is part cooling fan that you are going to use to cool down the 3D prints. And if you are going to connect cooling fan here, you can also control the cooling fan speed from the LCD. So this is the connection that you are going to connect the cooling fan of the controller box. This is directly connected to the power supply and it will always keep the cooling fan on you can't control it from LCD so the next thing is a connection for motors these four motor drivers that are shown here you are going to use this one is as X axis this one is for Y axis this one is for Z axis and this one is for extruder motor you can see that it is written here and this is a connection for the motors these four pins you can see here the next thing is the thermistor these are the connections for thermistors you can use t0 t1 and t2 t0 is for hot end hot end has the thermistor to measure the temperature and the second one is for the heat bed but we are not using heat bed so we will leave, leave the further connection we will use the just t0 connection for the hot end after that the end stops you will connect any two pins from here i will choose this first and second pin for the x end stop and you will connect the end stop on the negative x axis because the printer will home itself on negative axis so we will connect x axis and stop here the y axis and stop will be here we will leave this connection because it is for the positive x axis so we will use this axis this connection for the x end stop this for the y end stop and this connection for the z end stop if you are going to use BL touch sensor, then you will have the five wires for BL touch sensor. You will use two wires connection here and the three connections will be connect here. So that's how you will use BL touch sensor. After that, the LCD, this is a connection for LCD, which will be directly connected to the LCD. So this was a connection. I don't think it is that much complicated. I hope you understand it well. Let's come to the CAD model of the 3D printer. So here is the CAD model of that mini 3D printer. And I am going to explain that how you are going to assemble this printer. So first of all, you will require 52020 aluminum profile. The length of the profile will be the first one is 330 mm. 
the second one is 290 mm the third one is 170 mm and the last two are 130 mm or 140 mm and the 2040 profile has a length of 290 mm the 2040 aluminum profile will be used for y-axis and the other are from x-axis y-axis and the base so these are the 3d printer 3d printed models you can order these files from us or you can also order the 3d printed files from us this is the filament stand and filament roll so first of all you are going to assemble this aluminium profile by corner brackets the one corner bracket will be here the other one will be here and the last two one will be here with 2040 and 2020 and one will be between these two and one 90 degree L plate you will use here to assemble this profile with this so after assembling this you are going to need gantries and you will assemble these POM wheels or V wheels with the gantries and you are going to use aluminium spacer or eccentric spacer between this gap and the tighteners will be here to hold the tires and the length of the screw M5 screw will be 30 mm for this so you will assemble all tires 1, 2, 3 and for as well as for x-axis and for z-axis after that you are going to assemble this x-axis profile with this z-axis gantry similarly you will also use here spacers and drop nuts to hold this profile so you will mount x-axis motor here with a motor mount after that you will put the printer head on this profile and you will put the printer 3d printed stopper here to stop the head while homing the x-axis so this is the extruder kit or you can say the extruder motor you will assemble extruder kit with this motor and after that the ptfe tube ptfe tube will go from here to here this is the y-axis and you will mount the y-axis motor here and you are going to use motor pulleys motor pulley gt2 motor pulley one will be here for motor pulleys and the second one the idle pulley will be here with 20 by 40 plate that you will purchase from us and similarly the one plate will be here with the idler pulley so you can you can assemble the timing belt from here to here by moving this way the timing belt will come from here similarly for x axis you will also use timing belt from here to here and for z axis you are going to use lead screw NEMA 17 motor will be here at the base this is the couplet 5 to 8 mm couplet and this is the lead screw rod and this is a 3d printed model and this will hold with the tires the tire will hold this 3d printed model and as the tire move up and down this will also move up and down so this was the model and these are the 3d printed models as i said i don't think it is that much difficult i hope this will make you understand that how you are going to make this printer if you need further assistance you can ask me in comment section or you can contact me on whatsapp i know this is not enough uh, but i don't have this printer now if i'm going to make this printer in future or any other project i will explain you that how i'm making this printer or i am or if you want me to make the video on 200 mm or 300 mm 3d printer i will also make the video on them also if you want the firmware you can firstly you can download the firmware you are going to upload in arduino that is marlin firmware which is open source and available on the google but if you want for this specific printer or you want me to make the video for that firmware that how to edit that firmware for this printer i will also make the video but if you want the directly firmware i will also provide you the firmware so if you have any question you can ask me in comment section or you can contact me on whatsapp thank you for watching the video see you next time